songs or anything like that, but uh, since I'm in Paris, I kind of feel like I have to. Um, but coffee is definitely needed. Um, I actually have a train that leaves in about 32 minutes, but it's just right across the street. Um, heading back to Angers today. Really just kind of chilled out here in Paris, relaxed. I wasn't vlogging it in the night, but uh, trying to just enjoy the moment, need to kind of get away for a little bit. Um, and actually, I probably shouldn't admit this, but last night I uh, went to eat and I tried uh, escargot for the first time, which, which means snails. I tried snails for the first time in my life. Um, and it was good. And also just wanted to say a quick uh, hello now that I'm in a good mood, now that I'm off the metro. I feel like that intro, I shouldn't even keep it in the vlog. Uh, okay, coffee, then back to the train station. Okay, got about five minutes till my train comes. Thank goodness, because it is freezing, freezing cold in this train station. I think it's more cold in here than it is outside. Um, Paris, I really like you, but uh, you are really, really cold. Sometimes when I take the train, um, and for me it really just depends on time. Um, if I have the time to spare, then I'll usually save the money and take the bus, and that way I can work because the bus is like four hours. If I don't have the time, then I just take the train because the train is about six times as much as the bus. No, seven times as much as the bus. But today, don't really feel like sitting in the bus for four hours to return. Plus, training tonight, and I want to get things done. Uh, yeah, hope that answers you guys' question. But this should be like an hour and 20 minute train ride. Um, then, I'll be in OJ. I'm back in Angers. First things first, I know I say it a lot in the vlog, but uh, starving, I'm starving. from lunch to the rain to coffee shop. Not that I'm super tired, I'm feeling really good, but I have some work to do and it's cold outside, raining, so you don't need an excuse to have a coffee. It's the same like ice cream and chocolate. Don't need a reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some work done and uh, not sure what's next, we're gonna spin. Okay, so I was in there for about, I don't know, feels like five hours, but probably like two hours. Still raining, um, and I forgot I rode my bike here to the center. So, about to take the bike, uh, ride home in the rain. Uh, we're gonna spin home. <sighs> okay, so I'm just getting home right now. Uh, sitting here about to, you already know. Um, but just to, but just a quick thing, because I was, I was reading through some of the comments on the way back here on the train, and just wanted to say a couple things to people who were asking me, because you guys know I used the Canon 70D before, and now I switched to the GH4. Um, there's nothing wrong with the 70D. I love that camera, absolutely nothing wrong. Um, I'll do another video on this soon, talking about the two. Um, but just the main thing is, this is just like a step up. You know, you have the G7X, which is great, but if you take the step up, it's Canon 70D. And the GH4, this camera that I'm using now, is a step up from the 70D because this shoots 4K, it's faster frames per second, the image is more clear, the camera's a lot lighter. That's kind of the main reason, but the 70D works perfect. So if you guys were thinking of getting that camera, that's, I've made 200 and, I don't know, 205 vlogs all on the same one, actually. And I dropped the Canon 70D off the table, I fell off my longboard and dropped it. It's fallen randomly four or five times, and every time it was fine. 
Um, yeah, just a little mini tech session right there telling you guys some things. Not sure what's going to happen. Like I say, I have about an hour until my training tonight. So I'm going to just play some video games and relax. Uh, legs are a little bit tired at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after my training, which will be in like four hours. But in the vlog, it goes like this. <sighs> Finally here, training. First one in the locker room so I can film a little bit. Um, fingers crossed that today's training isn't so bad. I'm hoping that the training's not gonna be too crazy because it's freezing cold outside and just walking through the gym, the gym is freezing cold too, but uh, <sighs> wish me luck. Training is finished. It is raining like crazy outside. I actually don't have my mic on here, so here's a good test to see if the mic, how the internal mic is working. Um, but you know, just one quick thing. Ugh. Sorry, I had to change memory cards. But um, you know, if you guys don't know me, um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I grew up like next to LeBron. Like everything he did, it was in the newspaper. It kind of like I saw him play. Uh, my school, we played against him in high school. I followed him throughout everywhere he's went. He's kind of always been someone who I've looked up to. And it wasn't just until I was watching an interview today, I, I highly advise you guys to look at it. It's like a minute and 24 seconds. Um, I'll put the link below. And it, it kind of sums up exactly what you guys are to me and what YouTube is for me. Um, because LeBron, he had opened a school and he's able to give back now. And they were interviewing him, asking him, hey, you know, um, you've been MVP all these times. You've got these gold medal from the Olympics. You're one of the best players in the world. What, where does this rank for you opening the school? And he said, other than his wife and his kids and family, it's the best thing he's ever done. Um, and basketball, scoring, assists, rebounds, winning games, because it doesn't last. And you know, that's exactly how I look at you guys and how I look at my channel, how I look at YouTube, how I look at the engagement we have. Um, you know, it's great being a, being a pro athlete. I love it. Um, I wish I could do it forever. Um, I wish I could have stayed in college playing forever, but I, you know, obviously, you know, it's always time to move on, but you know, YouTube and, and having you guys here, this is something that can go on without a limit. You know, in basketball, it's so, it's such a sport that it, it requires so much. You need to be blessed, you need to be lucky, you need to be in the right place at the right time, and you can work hard, hard, and lose everything just like that. And for me, I, I've realized that, you know, I remember last year, I seen my teammate, um, we were running, I was running behind him in the game, he jumped up to make a block, he fell, I saw his knee come out, and, and it was in the moment I was right behind him and saw it, and it was the first time I saw anything like that. And it just made me think about how in a flash, in a flash, it can just be finished. You know, you can be the man one day and then the next day you're nothing. And, and you know, you don't get points for yesterday's game. You can't take the fans with you when you change teams. You got people who hate you, people who love you, people who, you got so much. And everything that, that basketball is and the downsides of basketball, those are all upsides here. You know, no matter where I go, no matter what happens, I know I have you guys here. Um, and you know, I'm here for you guys as well. I'll always talk to you guys as much as I can throughout as much time as it takes. I'll always try my best. You know, I, you do get points for yesterday's game. If you make something good in the past, it's timeless. People can watch it forever. And you know, it's just, that just made me realize the importance of what you guys are for me and what YouTube is for me. And I just want you guys to know that I take it serious. I don't ever take one comment for granted, one, one subscriber, one view. I mean, it all means something to me. And so when I tell you guys at the end of the video, keep your comments and questions coming. Like, I mean it from the bottom of my heart because this is something that matters. Stuff so you guys are here, and this is something where I can give back. I can give all of my knowledge. I can give everything, anything I can ever do to provide value. I give you guys everything. After every single vlog, I don't hold anything back. There's never anything that I think that I'm gonna save for tomorrow or save it for the next vlog. I put everything, everything into that day, to that video, to this video right now, everything I have. And I just want you guys to know how much it means, how much your support means. Um, and you guys, it just, I can never explain it in a way. And it was just seeing this video of LeBron, which I'll link below. 
um, that it just made me be like, that's a guy who gets it. That's a guy who realizes that it's more than about you. Of course you can go on vacation. Of course you can have fun. Of course you can go to your life doing all types of different things. But at the end of the day, people are remembered for what they left behind, what they gave, what value they left out, how they changed the world, how they made their mark, their legacy. Those are things people remember for. And that's something that's, and, and YouTube is a great tool for me. It can be for you guys, for me to leave that legacy. You know, and I guess just in the words of someone who I look up to, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, you know, people ask me, what's the reason for doing this? What's one thing you want? It's to have you guys come to my funeral. I want to affect one of you guys' lives or maybe affect you that makes you affect someone else that does all that. And at the end of the day, you, I provide so much value for you guys that you'll come to my funeral. That's, that, I mean, it sounds crazy and sad maybe, but it's so true. You know, and, and on that note, I want to thank you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me and I really appreciate you taking the time every day or once a week or once a month to just come and check up and leave a little comment. And it doesn't matter if you joined a month ago or a week ago. Um, you guys, you guys, you guys are the best and I, I really appreciate you guys and I just wanted to, wanted to make a video and at the end of this video I know it's going to make the vlog go super long and people won't even watch the end but it doesn't matter. The ones who matter are the ones you guys who stick with it, stick with me and I appreciate it. Um, yeah, and on that note I'm going to actually relax, I'm a little bit tired but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll speak to everybody later and as always everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile